okay. you actually don't start by putting paint on it. You put water That's on it? That's right. Yeah, what I like to do is wet the bristles themselves so that two things happen. By wetting the bristles, the paint adheres to the bristles more evenly. Therefore, I have more control when I'm actually painting. And then the bristles are easier to clean at the end of the job. I just wet the whole brush in water, and now I'm just going to spin it out in this bucket. And my suggestion is to start slow so that the brush won't kink out. All right. So damp, but not dripping wet. That's now right. Now you're ready to paint. Now I'm ready to paint. What I like to do is load up my brush with a lot of paint, and I tap it a couple times. And that's a pretty heavily loaded brush, but it's, I've got control of it. And I try to keep the paint on the bottom part, I'd say the bottom two-thirds of the bristles. That way, it won't get up underneath this metal band. Once again, this is called the ferrule. Mm. And then dry out and make my brush unusable. Mm -hmm. So with, this is quite a bit of paint on my brush right now. And what I'm going to do is put on what I like to call my reservoir. So I stay quite a distance away from my finished product. But you're putting it on pretty thick. I am indeed. And what I like to do then is take it and just pick it up and push it back towards that interface with the casing and draw it down as far as I can. I can always come back and pick up a little bit more of my reservoir. But what I'm most concerned about right now, Kevin, is creating a nice clean line. Because we're considering that this casing is finished product. We're not going to paint this. Mm. And I want to make sure that after I've cut a nice clean line, I'm going to come back and tip the entire area that I've just put paint onto so that the paint lays down evenly and uniformly so the finish looks great. That's a casing that we don't want to have to repaint, but there are times when we are going to put a top coat on the trim. So you've got a different technique? Uh, slightly different. We're actually going to do the same thing. I'm just going to dip my brush into the paint, not worry about it too much, load up the br uh, brush as much as I can. And then I'm going to go lefty here. But still, I'm going to do my little reservoir. Mm -hmm. But this time, since we're going to be painting this casing, I'm going to come back after the wall is finished and, and cut my, my nice line. So this time, I don't have to worry about it so much. So I'm actually going to overlap just slightly onto my trim. Deliberately overlap. Deliberately overlap. It's, uh, it's ever so slight, though. And what that affords me is the ability to come back with my trim paint and create a nice line because I've overlapped. So my trim paint can come nice and tight along that seam, and it will be a perfect finish. And Kevin, as I'm painting, I keep track of how dry the paint is on this upper edge of my, of my bristles because mm -hmm. if I let it go too long, it'll start to pill up and create little dried, crusty edges. So I'm going to go into the same water that I used the first time around to wet my brush, and this time wet it because I want to clean it. So you're cleaning your brush as you're painting a room? Yes, and it's really important to do that for a couple of reasons. It makes cleaning at the end of the job better, but more importantly, for the wall that I'm painting today, it'll make my finished product that much cleaner. I won't be leaving little crusty bits of paint on the wall. So here I go. I'm going to finish this baseboard. And now if I wasn't going to paint the baseboard, then I would use the blue painter's tape that you talked about earlier, Kevin, just so that, number one, there wouldn't be any paint that would get on the finished product. And also, when I'm rolling later on, there won't be any stipple drips that would fall on the baseboard. And Kevin, on those rare occasions when I do create a drip, what I do is take my 5-in-1 tool, every painter's friend, and I like to wrap it in a cloth. And then with that cloth, I go down to the little drip that I created here. Perfect. Mm -hmm.